Hey guys, welcome to a new video of mine and in this video we're going to be talking about my settings and my hotkeys for this game. So in the last two years I got to challenge a tier and if something really did help me out then it's definitely gonna be my settings. So I'll be covering the things that I changed and I'll be doing like a small explanation to why I'm doing this change. The first thing that I changed is that I'm playing with quick cast. Now this is kind of self-explaining because if you want to use one of your abilities it will immediately use your ability without asking for another permission so this will make you play a lot better once you master this also for abilities i have the default q w e and r i didn't really change anything for my items i got one to five and then the last button is on c the reason for that being is because i like to have my potion on c because if i'm in a 1v1 or i'm in laning phase and i want to use my potions i only need to move my thumb so i can use my potion it's also a great button if you want to use qss and you want to keep your fingers ready on the abilities that you're going to use so it's a really great improvement once you change your button to c so you can make your thumb actually do something instead of only pressing spacebar. So for my next change is Trinket. I have it on 6 without quick cast. The reason for that being is because I always somehow misclick my ward outside of the bush. Basically if you want to make sure that your ward gets inside of the bush. The cursor will turn green when it gets inside and if it's not inside it will turn blue. If you're a guy like me which always somehow mess up then I would recommend you turn off the quick cast for your wards. We're going over to quick cast with indicator. Replace quick cast with quick cast with indicator with the quick bind UI. Don't turn this on because this will only put a delay on you pressing an ability. So. Just make sure you turn it off. It's not really useful at all. Also, this option is not really that useful. Just keep it turned off. Now, going to the additional hotkeys. This is my most important change of my entire settings, which I think definitely made me help get Challenger eventually. Um, basically, what I changed is I put my player attack move click on my left mouse button. And basically what attack move click does is, let me explain. So when you're playing League and you're playing stuff like ADC or you're playing Riven, you're always clicking around and you use the same button for attacking the enemy. So we've all been at this point where we've had this 1v1 where you misclick and you eventually get behind them. Or you do get in front of them and you still misclick. But what attack move click does is it forces you to hit a champion or the closest champion nearby. When you're in a 1v1 next time, if you use both attack move click and moving, you won't ever be able to miss click ever again. Basically with my settings, with the right mouse button, you move around like this. And with the left mouse button, you attack. This will allow you to never miss click ever again now for the rest of the settings i didn't really change that much it's not really that important so i will leave the settings here for the way it is it's not really gonna help you out at all if you change them except the only change i have made because of my button being on the left mouse button is that i have put the minimap on my scroll wheel so if i want to press the minimap i gotta use my scroll wheel and if i want to buy items i gotta use my scroll wheel too but that's something I will put into the description if you guys want to have those settings. So anyway, going over to the next settings, going to video. Now this is stuff that it's not really necessary for you to change. This is just my personal preference. Uh, basically for window mode, I have borderless because I have two monitors and I record my stuff. Resolution always needs to be the highest. This option is pretty useless. It's just preference for you. I like to have my game on colorblind mode and uh, I don't know what this option is, just ignore it because I have no idea. Uh, for my character quality I have everything on very low, the reason for this being is because I got used to playing this game on very low settings because I played like this in the past 
and for this option i leave it off because for the same reason i got used to playing the game with this option being turned off however if you like the game to be on high graphics then just turn this on and turn everything on very high but it's something that doesn't really do anything to improving in the game so going over to the frame rate cap just leave this on cap you don't really need to cap this if you do reconsider capping this to 60 fps it's not really that great because it's gonna leave you with some screen tearing issues so my recommendation just keep this on cap because you know why um, for the next setting anti aliasing uh, I always left this option being turned off it's just something if you want to have a more high quality game then just turn it on otherwise just keep it off uh, for wait for vertical sync, I know this is giving me a small delay. However, my PC is having some weird screen tearing issues, so I always keep this setting being turned on. Now, for my sound settings, this doesn't also really help you out at all. So I always leave my music volume being turned off and then the rest just being turned on. Also, what I recommend if you hate spam ping, then just leave the whole ping off. And just make sure you look at the map yourself. You don't really need your teammates' pings. If you want to improve in League, you don't need to be listening to your teammates' pings. You just need to be looking at the map when you're going to get ganked and stuff. It's all on you. It's not about your teammates. So if you hate people pinging or people are spam pinging, then just turn this option off because people are annoying. So going over the interface, this is personal preference. However, I got my hot scale on 100% because I've always played like this in all of those years. Uh, for my cursor scale, it's just default 50. I don't want this smaller or bigger. For my chat scale, this can be 50, it can be 10, it's whatever you like. If the chat is annoying, then just, just scale it down. Uh, for my minimap scale, leave it 100% because you want to see your map the best way possible so just keep it on 100 percent anyway going over to the health and resource bars turn off the show summoner names because why would you want to see summoner names in a game it doesn't it's not going to help you out it's only information that you don't want to see now enable hot animations if you like high graphics turn this on however if you don't like it like me then just leave it off now for the notifications if you don't really pay that much attention while roaming and you somehow get damaged and you don't even know how, then this will notify you when you get damaged. So if you don't pay that much attention to your own champion for some reason, turn this on. However, if you don't, then just turn it off. And the rest of the options, just turn it off because this is all just, it's not good stuff. Just leave it off. Uh, Legacy Cursor, I'm an old League player, so I want to keep this on. Uh, for tool tips, I always have this off. It's just annoying show minimap on the left if you're right eye dominant then you should have the minimap on the right however if you're left eye dominant then you should put your minimap on the left side of your screen so for the next thing we have the scoreboard turn off the show summoner names because you don't need to know the enemy names it's just again information that you don't need to know also for the mirror scoreboard layout i have this off for the team frames I always have this on the left side because I learned the game with the team freights on the left side. I have it turned on. Also for the chat, I have all chat being turned off because I don't want to get into touch with people that flame in the enemy chat. The all chat is just always useless. People are either flaming or they annoy you. So always turn it off. For the chat, I always have my time steps because I often write down people their flash and ignite and TP. So it's really useful to know when their summoners are back up. So always make sure that your time steps are up so you know what the time steps are. Uh, for emotes, mute the enemy emotes. I like this on actually, so I turned it on. Now, if you hate the enemy team emote bubble display, then 
just turn it off now for the game i have my mouse speed on 55 so for the camera move i have it on 33 this is just all my own personal preference however this is really nice for my camera movement speed with the keyboard i never really use this option so it doesn't matter for me uh, also enable smooth camera turn this off because it's really annoying camera lock mode is fixed offset for me because i often press the space bar with my thumb and it just feels better to have the champion in the middle of your screen. Now for gameplay, I have my auto attack being turned on because sometimes I'm doing nothing and then at least it can auto attack. And for use movement prediction, I always leave this off because it feels like I'm lagging if I turn this on. Anyway, those are the options that I have on my game and I'm pretty sure if you take my setting or at least take the attack move click, I'm pretty sure you're gonna improve your gameplays. Anyway guys, this has been a kind of a different video from what I usually make. Usually I make a lot of edited stuff. However, this video, I just wanted to show you guys all of my hotkeys that I have. Because I had a lot of people asking me what are the hotkeys that I have. So that's why I'm making this video guys. If you think this was really helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you liked it, don't forget to like. And if you have more questions, then just make sure you leave your question in the comments below guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.